So about eight to 10 months ago, I got this resin printer and tried setting it up in the house. We tried getting um, ventilation working to where the fumes wouldn't be bothering myself and my wife, but we just could never quite get there. And I keep meaning to, to take it outside and just see how it works out there. I've done a little bit of research online. And I haven't found a lot of videos or even just good information about uh, people who've had success printing outdoors. So that's kind of what this video is going to be about, is just discovering how we're going to print outside with this resin machine. Uh, just to fill you in on where I'm at, what my outdoors looks like. Uh, I am in the Midwest right now, kind of towards the tail end of summer. It's August, so we are going to deal with some heat and humidity for sure. I think our biggest enemy is going to be the UV light. But to uh, sort of eliminate that from the process initially, my first couple prints I'm actually going to do at night just to see um, how they work and kind of eliminate that UV as a fact. Uh, I'm curious to see how the humidity plays in. Most days around here, the weather is like anywhere between 70 and 85% humidity. Uh, and then I, I'm not too worried about the temperature. Uh, in summer right now, it's between 80 and 100 degrees outside. And I think that is actually going to lend itself pretty well to the printing. But we will find out. I have here a Creality resin printer. This is my LD002H. I'm also going to be using some Creality translucent uh, resin. I have red here. This actually is just kind of a leftover that I have from the last time I was using the printer months ago. So hopefully it's still good. Uh, if not, if we start to run into problems, I may try buying some new resin uh, just to see if, if for some reason that's what's causing issues. This is the spot I've picked out. We've got a nice little overhang here to protect it from rain if that does happen to come. Unfortunately, for when we're printing during the day, we're going to have the sun right up here through a big, big part of the day. So I may end up covering the top of the uh, printer with some more, uh, trying to black it out just so that we don't have sun getting to it if the sun comes up and the print's still running. So I went ahead and just wrapped the top of my printer in this super high-tech lawn bag that's going to protect from the sun. Um, I don't know if you can really see in there, but it does block a lot of the, the light out. So that will go on top here like so. Make sure I've got it facing the right direction here. That would probably be a good start like that. And then we can just cover it right over the top like so as well, just to give it a little bit extra protection from that direct sunlight. So not the most glamorous way of protecting from the sun, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's also occurred to me that <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to pour the resin before I go outside. Even just a little bit of time in that sun is going to be pretty damaging for it. So that's going to be a fun little trick. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll fill the resin vat right inside before I walk out the door and then just carefully carry this machine out and uh, place it in our spot where we're going to be doing the printing. Wish me luck. So I've got my printer ready to go here, ready to move outside. I'm going to just give this resin a shake. Remember, when you're handling this resin, you always want to be wearing eye protection, uh, gloves, and ideally you'd wear a respirator. I'm not going to be doing that this time just because uh, it's a lot harder for me to talk and make a video while I'm wearing a respirator. Anyway, um, I am going to do a little pour. And I'm just going to print a benchy to start out with. Excuse me just a moment, though. I need to get a torch. And we just need to get rid of a few bubbles. All right, being very, very careful to keep this thing level. Bringing it out here. Let's see, we'll get a print going here. We'll come back in about three hours. And hopefully, we will have a Benchy to look at. 
All right, well, I've carried it inside. I can tell that we must have sloshed just a little bit here. But let's see how Benchy turned out. Looks like it turned out all right. I'm going to clear off my case here. I don't want that staying dirty. And I am actually going to wash this first in water. This is a water washable um, resin. All right. Here's Benchy. We will get him washed up. And I'll show you the final product after he's cured. I, of course, don't have a uh, anything to cure him in, so he'll have to wait until tomorrow to go out in the sun. We don't have any more sun for today. Anyway, Benchy cured pretty well. Um, I did notice we didn't get the Benchy uh, calibration text on the bottom. That may have to do with it being old resin. Uh, I don't even know if that normally prints well on Benchy. Uh, somebody else might know. Anybody do any resin printing with Benchy? Um, but yeah, this, uh, this outdoor printing is probably a uh, good option as long as you're willing to deal with a little bit of inefficiency and just a little bit of annoyance, really, for getting stuff in and out uh, in the right conditions. Say, so as long as you're keeping the sunlight out, you ought to be okay. Anyway, I'm going to be continuing to try this outdoor printing out for the next couple of weeks, and I'll make a video update if I find out anything new. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.